previously on The Walking Dead. What's your name? I'm Clementine. You've been all by yourself through this? <laughs> I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. It's how the world works now! Lee, are those bad people dead? I hope you know what you're doing with her. I got it! Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are. Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet. Clementine? Clementine! I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. We, I saw my parents. I know. You can leave me. It's okay. Y you can come with me. No, honey. I can't. It's okay. What do you think? Oh, Midge, you can't be serious. I am. We are not doing that. Why not? Because. Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Clementine, a little help here? Omid the second. No. Omid Jr. No. You have to admit it has a ring to it. Yeah, the ring of an egotistical maniac. What if it's a girl? Then we name her Krista. But I'm Krista. I don't want to call her Krista. That's just confusing. So name her Genevieve. I don't care. How can you not care? You're not taking this seriously. I take everything seriously. Especially little Omid's future. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend? Why don't you, uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. I wouldn't count on it. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. We'll be right next door. Okay. Hello? Good. No one's here. Guess it's safe to get cleaned up.
better. Oh, shoot. I see you. Get out of there. You're not fooling me. That's my gun. It's mine now. Give it back. Why should I? Get out here. You got anything on you? Come on, let's see. I ain't gonna ask again. No, that's all I have. That's it? How'd you make it this long? I'm serious, what else you got? That's it. Don't lie to me, I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm not screwing around, come on. I don't have anything. Give me that hat. No. Where'd you get it? I asked you a question. I killed someone for it. You? Killed? <laughs> Just give it to me. Junk, junk, junk. Look at all this junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why you ain't got nothing good? Not like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was a good catch. You ain't got nothing good. You're just a little fish. You gonna cry, little fish? This your daddy? What a bozo. Krista, talk to me. <sighs> Fuck. 
This will never work. Look at this. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn. It's more smoke than flame. At this rate, we'll be eating this for breakfast. What else can we do? Find something that'll burn, maybe. I don't know. Won't be easy in the dark and in the rain. You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise... We can't build a big fire at night. It attracts too much attention. It's too dangerous when we're out here by ourselves. We need to eat, don't we? We can't survive without food. I'm freezing. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet. Then ice. Then snow. It won't be easy. Can we make it that far? Maybe. I don't know. We just need to keep moving north. We sure as hell can't stay here. Hi, Miss Lee. I'm sure you do. I'm going to go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit. Better, but still not enough. The flames are too low. This won't burn. It'll never burn. It's too wet. This might burn.
I'm by myself. Bullshit. She's lying. Cut the shit, lady. It's it's just me. Come on, guys. She's not saying. You expect us to believe you're out here all alone? What the Krista, fuck? Krista, run! Hey! <laughs>
Krista, are you there? It's okay, boy. It's okay. So, where are your owners? Are they around? If they are, I hope they're nice. What's he doing? What'd you find, boy? Where are you going? Wait up! Looks pretty run over, but you never know. Let's look around for some food. There you go. I'm not gonna hurt you. Gotta check everywhere.
Looks like it's been here for a while. Think anyone's been sleeping in here? I can't tell. Maybe we better not wait around to find out. Wanna play? Wanna play catch? <coughs> okay, bring it back. Good boy, good boy. Looks like they were a happy family once. I hope they left some food behind somewhere. Hmm, nothing edible. Not much of a tent anymore. I bet scavengers tore it apart. <sighs> Empty. Better keep looking, boy. <coughs> hey, boy. What's the matter? have to be quiet. It's okay. He's dead. Look, you can see the bite. Looks like he tried to cut it out. It's okay. We're smart. He's not. We're smarter than all of them. That looks like it hurt. Stand back, okay? We just have to stay out of their reach. Huh. Still pretty sharp. At least we found something useful. We won't go another night without food, okay? No food here, either. Ugh, God! 
bad. No food on the grill, nothing in the cooler. Ugh, I hate scavengers. They take everything. Here we go. Oh my god. Thank you. Look, a can. Let's see what's inside. Please don't be bad. I guess you are pretty hungry, too. Here you go. Hey, you don't eat it all.
Let's go. Come on, kid. We gotta get him. I think... I think we're safe. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right? I... I think so. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. Hmm. I'm not sure how the group's gonna feel about another mouth to feed. My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mentioned what they were after? They might have just wanted food. We were cooking some sort of weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is low. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Hmm. Well, I'm Luke. And this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. And it's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! Ah! What? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, 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 what are we gonna do here? No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. I can't remember the last time I saw a dog. No, no, just look at it, please. <laughs> yeah, and have you sink your teeth into Pete's neck? No way. My neck? Why am I the one? Because I don't know a dog bite from a mosquito bite from a lurker bite, man. It's not. Hmm. All right. Let's see it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? See? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Hmm. Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this? Now, what... What does that matter, Pete? Seriously. I want to know how believable her story is. I... I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? Look me in the eyes when you answer. Yes. Hmm. Well, all right, Clementine. That's good enough for well, me. Well, what else was she gonna say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at... All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. I'm just tired. Well, you better be fine. Cause I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Ah, oh, shit!
arms. She already told us that she and her friend were attacked. Then she was bitten by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I need a dog. <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I just need a doctor. And then, and then I'll go. I don't want my arm to get infected. None of us want to get infected. That's the point. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. <sighs> it's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. Then what? How would we know it worked? Just let Carlos have a look first. Come on. She weighs about as much as a sack of flour. We could take her if it comes to that. Who's she? Sarah. What I say, stay inside. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? I can take care of myself. Clearly. Look, I don't know what the hell took a bite out of her, but still, she's just a kid. Worst case, she turns and we can deal with it. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? Oh. We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with it. Alvin, please. But, yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shit. It was a dog. You'll see. I guess we'll find out in the morning. If I last that long, maybe you could go look for it? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry.
because it's safer this way, then I'd rather be sure. Yeah, safe. Uh, I can't believe this. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. stuff for stitches. It makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beck? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me any shit. 
I need some air. What the hell are you doing? I... I need your help. Me? No. I'm sorry, but I can't do nothing. Please. I need to fix my arm. Are you out of your mind? Even if you ain't bitten by some lurker, which you probably are, you can't be here. You gotta get out of here, you understand? Get back into that shed and Carlos will take care of you in the morning. Damn it, girl, go! You just let me die? I wouldn't let you do nothing. It's not my call. We're a group. But you could help. And if you don't, isn't that the same? I don't know, all right? I'm serious. You need to get out of here. I saw when everyone was arguing. You wanted to help. You didn't see anything. Look, you gotta get out of here before my wife finds you. I'm serious. You gotta go. I got enough problems already. I got a baby on the way. Rebecca's all emotional. Got a mess of hormones causing all sorts of trouble. I don't need any more. Get it? Now go. Please help. Please. Don't cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm just tired. You're not with Carver. No. And you didn't get bit by a dead person. No. I'll do anything I can to help your situation. Anything. Except leave me alone. Yeah, I guess. I'm screwed if anyone finds out I did this. You understand? Yes. What do you need? The bu The cut on my arm needs to be cleaned and stitched. Stitched? I ain't doing that. I'll figure it out on my own. All right, look. I don't know what I can find. We're short on bandages, but I might be able to find something clean that will work. I need something to clean it out with. And a needle and thread could help, too. I don't even know where to look. Carlos has medical supplies on lockdown. We don't got much these days. Well, whatever you can get. I'll find the rest on my own. Okay, wait here. I found you some bandages. And I, uh... I got you a juice box in case you're thirsty. Thank you. Alvin, house meeting in five minutes. Oh, okay, thanks. Now you need to go.
really made my decision. Well, Luke has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this. We don't know. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend in the tent. Yeah, right. Whoever she is, they'll probably come looking for her. Great. If they show up and we got her locked in the shed. You think we should bring her in here? No, I'm just saying we wouldn't miss the deal. It's just that the cross the nerve. Clean. I'll still need something to keep it from getting infected. That man sometimes. Have this baby. <laughs> Let it be okay. Let it be his. to be in here. Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. 
My dad can't know. What are you reading? A book? What book? I like books. It's called The Gurgles. It's about transdimensional body snatchers. Cool. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. I could die if I don't take care of it. Do you understand? I just need something to clean it with. I bet it would be with the rest of your medical supplies. Yeah, it is. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. And if her baby is a girl, it'll be forever before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be super Yes, we are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. I promise. Me too. Friends. A pinky swears forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a gun. Let me look around. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. Okay. I'd better get somewhere safer to do this.